Architects of Destiny. Good morning. Memento Mori. Remember death. I had quite an experience in the last 48 hours rafting on the Arkansas River. Ended up in the water in a pretty intense section of rapids. And uh, managed to get out. And then uh, a rescue boat came by and waved me in and I, I didn't want to, but I listened to the guide and I jumped back in the water. And I realized I only had a couple minutes before I'd be overcome by the rapids. The water was pretty intense, pushing me underwater. So I dropped my paddle and I swam for my life. And I made it into the raft with the help of two men who I never got to meet or thank. And I thank them and I thank the guide. Never got to thank her personally either. Because a moment later, one of the men on the trip with me was face down in the water. He'd been overcome by the rapids and the river. And the same crew pulled him in onto my lap. And it was clear immediately that he wasn't breathing. It appeared to me as if he had just died. So, the sun is bright. Beautiful morning here. Cottonwood Springs, out in Colorado. Fun little place. So, what did I do? I, having recently completed a recertification in CPR and emergency first responder, <clears throat> I put a rescue breath into the man and he started breathing again. He came back to life. Slowly color came back. We hailed a train on the side, on the bank downstream. We actually hailed a train and got the man evacuated into an ambulance into the hospital. And he's still with us today. So, an incredible experience, a, a divine appointment in many ways. I recently had the training necessary to do what needed to be done. And the man who needed the breath was delivered to my lap. I had only just recovered my own breath and the ability to deliver a breath to him was something that was not easy to do. I, I could barely breathe myself when, when he was brought into the boat. So uh, a divine appointment all around. There's no better way that I can think to explain the series of circumstances that contributed to that man being with us today. So it's a good reminder about death. And when one kisses death on the lips, one knows the truth. And so that, that phrase, memento mori, is an excellent memento of stoic wisdom to remember death and to live every day conscious of what you're leaving on the table. Don't leave things on the table that you could deal with today. And ask yourself, what is it in life that you're leaving on the table? And what would you not be okay with leaving on the table if you died today? These are good questions. I'd love to hear about them in the comments. Do like, share, and subscribe. Happy adventures, friends.
And remember, memento mori. <laughs>